Just want to start off by saying Happy New Year's and I hope that this new year is filled with lots of joy, prosperity and success to everyone. But recently, I have showcased multiple videos on Bolt.new, which is something that can easily enable anyone to prompt, run and edit as well as deploy full stack applications quite easily. Now these full stack apps are connected with a backend that will also provide the ability to connect an authentication system as well as a database like Subabase. The only problem was is that this product is something that is behind a paywall but I managed to find an alternative to this where someone who goes by the name Cole Medin. He is a famous YouTuber who had fostered a crowdsource project that is an open source alternative to Bolt.new and recently he introduced a new update to it where he rebranded it to Bolt.diy which actually has a connection to the original Bolt.new team and essentially this fork is a side project of the original project that is going to be fostered and developed by the open source community. Now this is a project that is fully open source for the people who do not know and it's an alternative to Bolt.new and it has many new features that the original product doesn't actually have and this is something that you can access completely for free and locally. And essentially what we're going to be doing is showcasing how you can install this new bolt.new fork locally and how we can combine it with something like peepseek version 3 which is a new model that is insanely good at coding based tasks for the people who do not know what this peepseek 3 model is it is a powerful new open source model that is capable of even outperforming cloud 3.5 sonic and gpt4 omni in coding based tasks like codeforce you have live code bench as well as human evil where it is outperforming these two models it is currently ranked as the best open source model and it is three times faster than its predecessor which is just insane and now i definitely recommend that you watch my previous video on it so that you can understand the capabilities of it further which i'll leave a link to in the description but let's get started and showcase how we can install bolt.diy so that we can have it linked up with DeepSeek version 3 and start iterating on different projects. To install this locally, you will need to have the prerequisites installed, such as having node.js installed, having git installed to help us clone the repository, and once you have these two things installed, you can go over to the repository link. Once you are here, scroll all the way to the top and click on this green button, click on copying the GitHub repository link to your clipboard, and then you can scroll all the way down the section which talks about the prerequisites go ahead and open up your command prompt and simply go ahead and type in git clone and paste in the link now you will need to make sure that you have node.js installed which is why i mentioned it but to verify that you have it installed follow through with instructions over here but since we have already installed it we can then go ahead and go into the bolt.diy directory by typing in cd bolt.diy click enter once that is done we can go ahead and install the package manager so we can go ahead and paste this in it will start installing everything that is necessary once that is done we can go ahead and install the dependencies so go ahead and paste in the pmp install command once that is done you can then start the application with the pmp run dev command so now that the packages are installed we can run the uh, environment on our local host and it will start up within a couple of seconds now, one thing that I'll note is that you can also install this with Docker, which is probably the easiest way to install this. It is also going to keep it contained within uh, your private environment. And now we have this running. But if you wanted to actually install this with Docker, you can go ahead and follow option two. Just make sure you have Docker installed beforehand and make sure that you have Docker opened up as in Docker desktop. So you can simply go ahead, start up Docker desktop once it is running. You can go into the directory like we did and then running the npm run docker build command and this will start off by running the container and building it so that you can then have it contained within that private environment but now that we have this opened up what we're going to do now is first start off by connecting our provider what you want to do is head over to DeepSeek's api platform you can go ahead and create a new api key so let's go name something copy this key and then we can go back into bolt.new. Now, what we're going to do is select DeepSeek as the provider and then change it to DeepSeek chat. And then you can go ahead and paste in the key and you will be able to start accessing this DeepSeek version 3 model within bolt.diy. So now we can start off by prompting up anything like building a to-do app. 
So we're going to go ahead and send in this prompt and you can see you have the same sort of generation, the same sort of uh, preview that you would with bolt.new. And essentially right now what it's doing is it's creating the template for our application with within React using Tailwind. And we can see that it's going to go ahead and generate this. Now it looks like I have a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this and start it up after I fixed the problem. So I figured out the problem. It was basically trying to host it on the same local host that I have bolt.diy hosted on. But I currently just told it, just show me a preview within bolt.diy, not in a local host. And it was capable of showing me the output of this basic, simple app. Now, obviously, you guys hate seeing to do apps. So we're going to go ahead and build something a bit more intricate. Now, what we're going to be doing is having it build the Airbnb website. And we're going to essentially have it clone this website. Now, usually I would uh, go ahead and attach an image so that it is easier for the model to clone the website. But at the moment, this DeepSeek version 3 model doesn't have vision capabilities. So that is actually one of the drawbacks of this model. But you can see right away, it is focusing on creating the base structure of this website. And it's going to go ahead and clone, try its best to clone that website. So I had the same problem occur and I wasn't able to actually see a preview of this. So I had to download the code locally where you can simply go ahead and click on this button. And I opened this up within my local computer and I was able to start up the server. And this was what it was capable of generating. This is actually insane as this DeepSeek version 3 model was capable of generating this website for me within one single prompt which is just insane it had formatted all of these different icons and it also created the top bar for me and this is why i say that you should definitely take a look at having bolt.diy combined with the deepseek model as you're going to be capable of generating amazing things with it if you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But essentially with this new DeepSeek model combined with something like Bolt.DFI, it is going to be capable of doing a lot as it has basically the same sort of capabilities of Claude 3.5 Sonnet while being an open source project. It is going to be able to run all your code cheaper than Claude 3.5 Sonnet as it has a way like a better, faster way for you to generate code and while being completely uh, cheaper than many of the other models that we see out there. This is something that I definitely recommend that you take a look at with the links in the description below. But that's essentially it for today's video guys on this new combination of Bolt.DIY with DeepSeek's version 3 model. I'll leave all the links in the description below so that you can easily get started. Definitely recommend that you watch my previous video on the DeepSeek version 3 models as I showcase a couple of tests comparing it to other models. But with that thought guys, make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. I'm constantly posting about different AI subscriptions here that you can access completely for free as well as our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter, great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news as I'm constantly posting about different sorts of advancements in the AI space here. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. But with that thought guys, I hope you guys have a great new year. Uh, make sure you spend some time with your family. But that's essentially it. Have a great day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out fellas.